What is the Lazarus theory of emotion? Hello everyone. Today, we're delving into the world of psychology, specifically the fascinating realm of emotion theories. We'll explore one particular approach known as the Lazarus theory of emotion, named after the American psychologist Richard S. Lazarus. This cognitive theory suggests that our emotions are determined by our appraisal or interpretation of the situations we encounter. What is the Lazarus theory of emotion? The Lazarus theory of emotion, as its name suggests, was developed by Richard Lazarus. According to this theory, the sequence of events first involves a stimulus, followed by thought, and then an emotion and physiological response which happen simultaneously. In other words, before we can experience an emotion, we must first have a thought about the situation. This thought, or appraisal, determines the type of emotional response. The key takeaway from this theory is that our emotions are directly influenced by how we interpret or perceive different situations. How does the Lazarus theory of emotion work? To better understand this theory, let's consider an example. If you see a shadowy figure in your house at night, you might appraise this situation as dangerous and experience fear. Alternatively, if you recognize that the shadowy figure is just your partner getting a glass of water, you might feel relief instead. The key here is the cognitive appraisal. This evaluation or interpretation is what dictates our emotional response. The appraisal isn't just about categorizing a situation as positive or negative, it's about understanding what the situation means to us personally. This theory, therefore, posits that it's not just the event or situation that triggers our emotional response, but also how we interpret or appraise that situation. What is the significance of the Lazarus theory of emotion? The Lazarus theory has far-reaching implications in our understanding of emotional responses and emotional health. It suggests that by changing how we think or interpret a situation, we can change our emotional responses. This is the underlying principle behind many forms of cognitive behavioral therapy, a common treatment for disorders like anxiety and depression. By learning to reinterpret and reappraise stressful or challenging situations, individuals can learn to manage their emotional responses and improve their mental well-being. And there you have it. The Lazarus theory of emotion, in essence, teaches us that our emotions are far from random. Instead, they are closely tied to our thoughts and perceptions of the world around us. So, the next time you find yourself experiencing a strong emotion, remember, it's not just about what's happening, but also how you interpret what's happening. We hope this video has shed some light on this fascinating aspect of psychology. Thank you for watching and stay curious.